Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be going over some Dojutsu Master Builds, so let's get right into it. Okay, so for today we're going over some Healer Dojutsu Master Builds. So this first one is like straight Dojutsu, so it's all ocular jutsu so if you don't know do dojutsu or just a jutsu that use like one of the eye techniques it translates to eye technique anything that you use the shutting gun the biaki gun or the rinny gun uh, but it's like just using like the eye thing but we, with some of these builds later we're gonna be a little bit looser with the dojutsu uh, master term but this first one is just straight up dojutsu so the first ninjutsu is gonna be biaki gun so just the straight up biaki gun and then for the second one, we're going to use Tsukuyomi, and for the alt, we're going to use Izanami. So this build, it was it was okay. Uh, I did all right with it. The first match didn't go very well, but the second one, I ended up winning. It's a fun little build, and it's cool just like running all the eye techniques. Uh, but I, and I'm running this in the pit. I don't really like to use Izanami as my alt in the pit. It doesn't. I don't feel like it really works all that well in there. Well, I just feel like there are a lot of other healer alts that are better uh, in survival exercise. And also, I always have a hard time landing Tsukuyomi. So, uh, people that, that are good at landing Tsukuyomi, this build can be OP because mixing that with the Byakugan and then like being able to combo them with the, with the extra with the boost from Byakugan after you hit him with the Tsukuyomi, it's a nice combination. Now, for the clothing perks, we I ran the same ones for all these builds, uh, but you can change them up a little bit. I was just running first blood for my top for all the builds it gives, it gives you your alt charge faster for the bottoms i was running clear mind to get your nin, the ninjutsu faster and then for the accessory i was running battle hardened so that i could get health back every time i get a ko and then the weapon was running uh, sakura naginata but that's also up to you and the ninja tool i was running the healing seal so but the ninja tool i would say that that's a real part of the builds because if you don't have that then you don't have any way to heal yourself and i suggest having at least one way to heal uh, as a healer but yeah the other stuff is you can play around with it uh, and see what works best for you for the second build i substituted biaka gun for the yasaka beads and uh, for the alt i used massive rust egg shuriken now i know the massive rust egg shuriken has nothing to do with dojutsu uh, but at least with the yasaka beads like you can't do susanu without shotting gun so like it's uh, even though it's not exactly a dojutsu it's still like requires you to have that dojutsu ability uh, but the alt i just used a, a different alt just because it's a it's a great alt in especially in uh in the pit but uh so yeah this this build worked a lot better like way way better had much better results uh even against better opponents like the match that i won with the other build i was going against some opponents that weren't really really good so it wasn't i don't think it would really work well against like top tier opponents in uh face off or something like that uh, but this one yeah this one could work for sure so uh, one one thing, it's not really a combo, but it's easy to get off the Tsukuyomi when your opponent is getting up, and with the Yasaka beads, it not, it always knocks your opponent down. So basically, as soon as you hit them with the Yasaka beads and they fall down, if you if you use your Tsukuyomi as they're getting up from that attack, then they'll get hit with the Tsukuyomi. So you can combo it like that. And then the alt is great because it's one shot. Uh, you can hit a group of people while they're grouped up fighting each other, trying to jump somebody, and it gives you your uh, ninjutsu back and it gives you health back. So it's just a great alt, but it, it's not really part of the dojutsu thing. Uh, but it, the reason why I didn't want to use Izanami was because it's not really, it's a good alt, but it's not great as a solo when you're playing by yourself. But with your team, you can you can do a lot more with it. But when you're doing it by yourself, especially like when you use the stun, it doesn't really matter because you can't do your you can't follow up with your jutsu because your jutsu are sealed. So it's not really a great alt to use in uh, survival, at least to me. But let me know if you guys find uh, better uses for it in survival mode. And then for the last build, now this was my favorite build uh, out of the out of the three. So this is straight up uh, all all dojutsu and like things that require dojutsu. So for the ninjutsu, we're using Byakugan and the Yasaka beads. And then for the alt, we're using Twin Line Fist. So uh, so yeah. So even though the Twin Line Fist isn't technically a dojutsu, like you need to have Byakugan to be able to use it. And that's an ult that comes back multiple times a match, so it's a good ult to use, especially with the top that we're running. Uh, that brings your that gives your you your ult back that gives your ult back even faster. 
so yeah, I had a lot of fun with this build. This is like a sniper build because you can use Byakugan just to see who's low and the Yasaka beads do so much damage that you can just snipe somebody and they're like the tracking is so good and it does so much damage. If you see somebody who's low with the Byakugan, because that's like the best thing about Byakugan in survival exercise that it reveals your opponent's health bars. So with that mixed with the Yasaka beads, you could just snipe people all day long. It is just like the Yasaka beads are just such a good move for healers. Like you could use it to defend yourself. You can use it to do damage, you can use it to combo, or like not to combo, but you can like do the whole combo, like knocking him in the air and then hitting him with the Yasaka beads and does all kinds of damage. That, but you, have, but one thing to be uh, to note though, is to be careful, is that it can get interrupted pretty easily. So you need to give yourself a little bit of space while you're using it, because it's crucial when you, when you get knocked out of that, because it's you got like a 22 second cooldown. So getting knocked out of it is like, it's a, it's a pain. And I got knocked out of it a few times during the match. But yeah, so those were the uh, Dojutsu Master builds for the healer. I had a lot of fun making these, or uh, running these builds, and uh, thinking about like what to use. I was thinking about using the Uchiha Shuriken Jutsu Spring Storm, but I wasn't sure if, if Sarada needs to use the shotting gun to be able to do that. So yeah, I don't watch Boruto, so I wasn't sure, but maybe you could run that if you wanted to do that for as part of the uh, Dojutsu theme build. But yeah, so that's it for the healer one. I'm gonna make some uh, for the other classes. Eventually, they'll be like more like loosely doju to like with stuff like Susanoo and, and things like that because I don't think any other classes can make a full doju to build. But yeah, I don't think they can. So, uh, but we could like the way that we use like uh, Twin Lion Fist and uh, Yasaka beads and stuff like that would, would work out for the other classes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these builds if you try them out, if they work for you, which one you uh, think is the best one. Don't forget to Shinobi Strike that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.